Uh, yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another uh, Saturday Key Track Mania Cup 2022 map discovery. Today, uh, I think it was it today, yesterday, I don't know, but Serrator built two new maps which I will discover. Uh, one of them in this video and the one for the third map is probably gonna come out tomorrow. I have no idea, we will see. But we're gonna take a look at the first map of today and the second map in total, which is called. <clears throat> Uh, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> uh, I have no idea how to pronounce that uh, first word, to be honest. Ro? Ro? Ro cool? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. <laughs> We're gonna hop straight in. I have not seen anything about the map. Bit longer than the first one, almost a minute here. Let's check it out. Let's see what Mr. Serrator built here again. In case you wanna have like any information about how the cup works or what it's about and so on, uh, I can definitely recommend you to uh, watch the first map discovery because there I spoke a bit about the tournament itself. So uh, yeah, alright, I dodged some llamas. What do we have here? Spinning stuff. Where do we go? I guess here and now. Straight. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess here you can jump to the left immediately. It seems like an obvious shortcut. Alright. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Interesting dirt. Interesting dirt. Then we go here. So you can also see uh, the Raider took a lot of time to build scenery here. Okay, that was another obvious shortcut here. You can definitely kind of jump out there. That's giga obvious. Wait, the first word uh, uh, pronunciation was not bad. I thought it was just completely wrong. <laughs> just to be honest. I, I, maybe you can... Can you... Probably when you have good speed, you can like jump from here and land like on the right or on the left immediately. Okay, we have bobsleigh. That's... Uh, Okay, that's, uh, yeah, 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 interesting, interesting. <laughs> Will be not too easy to drive, I guess. We're gonna see, and then we have an uphill, oh god. Alright, that's, uh, interesting. Interesting is the correct word, I would say. Alright, we got the prongs medal, pop champ, top 1.5k in the world. Let's try, let's try to do the, the shortcuts, which I uh, found, sort of. But first of all, I wanna, I wanna make the first jump. Shouldn't be too hard to dodge the llamas here. Alright, perfect. So we go here, we go here. Obvious. And what do we do here? Probably... Can you jump all the way to the left is the question. Somehow. No way, that's the plan. Oh, no way. No. Oh, uh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Oh no, you can probably jump through the spinning thing and then like go full wicked. Like, can you get enough speed for that? I'm not sure. And this is so hard. To... No, you can. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> Alright, where do we jump out here though? Oh, that's a far jump actually. I mean, I had a bad landing, so I don't have the best speed, but I guess like. I mean, it's obviously faster, like, obviously you wanna do this. But it's interesting. But how on earth do we do the ending? Okay, this works as well, that's good. Do we wanna take this here smooth? Or maybe you can also just somehow yeet out and, like, jump over all of this stuff? I have no idea, I'm a little bit confused. But I think I know what to do for the first two shortcuts, at least, already. Hmm... WR is already 39 seconds. That seems uh, fast, to say the least. Let's try a bit further and see what we can do here. Maybe after like one or two attempts, we can also uh, take a look at the current world record. Oh no, you can also like... Ah! <laughs> if you're unlucky, you can just miss this checkpoint. You probably want to get the inside one. The outside one is like... I don't think the outside one is good, to be honest. Or maybe you can no, actually no. take the outside one in order to have more speed at the jump and then you can jump like further here and it's easier. Ah, tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's try the outside one. So like small slide here, and then like small things here. I mean you will have more speed, but is it actually faster? I'm not sure. I guess the inside is still faster, but the outside is just easier. Or something. I have no idea. We will see. But overall, I still would say, I mean, I don't know how to draft ending yet, but like, for a standard team map, uh, overall, a good one, I would say. Oh god, what am I doing? 
Okay, but actually, uh, going through that spinning thing there is not it's not that difficult. Like you can kind of you kind of have a lot of room, so it's it's fine, I think. It's not too difficult. Oh my god. Okay, the outs. Uh, to be honest, the outside also is kind of like ah, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it is the inside. Let me do one more attempt, and then I'm gonna watch what Papu does, so that I can just pull a coffee cat. Yeah, okay, the inside is way better. You will get more speed and stuff. And then you probably want to jump through this hole, and then you land here. And then you have, like, way more speed. Okay, that was kind of terrible now, but... Oh, actually, this one... This was kind of good. But this will not be a good time, because I don't know how to do the ending. And because I cannot even aim for this jump. It's amazing. How could you possibly drive this end? Like, here I'm really clueless. I mean, doing it like this here is probably not the fastest strategy. Let's be honest there. Like that, that's not gonna be what's what you wanna do. <laughs> Let's check Mr. Papu, what he does. And then maybe we can copy, but we will see. And we have a new uh, resub actually by Fausage. Five months. Yo, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, he's going inside. Quite obvious. And yeah, he also goes through this hole. I see, I see, I see, I see. And here you want to jump as close as possible. Then he goes from the outside, actually. Oh, is he overjumping the whole thing? <gasps> He's overjumping the whole thing. Okay, that's crazy. And what is he doing here? Ah, yeah, of course. Ah. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Oof. Yeah, that was good. Not gonna lie. That was a uh, pretty good run. <laughs> the jump over the whole thing looked really, really tight, though. Like, he had perfect speed and he barely made it kind of crazy by the way did i miss any other resub yeah by uh, qc hutch thank you for your resub as well four months pog champ did i see that lars equaled me on the first map uh yeah i he actually sent a picture of that <laughs> all right let's uh maybe try to like i don't know get like an okay time we will see i guess papu was doing a small neo here guess what Yahoo. i will not be able to do it should also be fine without. That was not optimal. Okay, that was not great. Ah. What if I just YOLO into this? Can I like somehow survive this? No. Okay, that's not really an option. Like, I thought you can maybe like YOLO and somehow make something cool, but. I mean, maybe it's somehow actually possible if you have like a perfect line to yeet out like this and continue on the other side. You know what I mean? Like jump out here and like this, something like this. I mean, you saw the way Papu did it. He had to slow down a lot, but I mean, uh, it's probably not really round viable, I guess. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> and we had another prime sub by Saxis Eye. No, Saxi Eye. Thank you. New primer in the pocket. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's do a few more attempts here and then uh, it's time to switch to the next map. Or for the YouTubers, uh, time to end the video, of course. <laughs> uh, nah, Messera, you cannot heat all the way up. Don't have the speed for that, I think. But I'm pretty sure you can do something faster than what Papu did. But I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, as Lars said, like, four rounds, it's something different. But for time attack, it would probably work. I don't know. Okay, this also works easily without, uh, without things. Okay, that was, that was a bad jump. <laughs> that was one hell of a bad jump. Oh, God. Can I stop clipping that, please? You don't like the new small boosters and stuff? I like them. I mean, it depends on how they're getting used, of course, but like, here it's fine, I would say. Oh my god, I cannot aim. I should be good at aiming, but I, I just am not. The good thing is, like, uh, with the new update, or like, new, like, it already is more, is quite long ago, but like, uh, there used to be a time where the, the rotation of rotating obstacles was, like, different from every single time. Imagine that would still be the case. 
Like now uh, the rotations, they all reset once you restart a run. So if you play on an online server, then it could also be different for every person, you know. But with that, it at least gets consistent with the rotating stuff. So that's kind of good. Ach, scheiße. Story is too difficult. By the way, Lars, is it actually safe that you play with Marius now? Oh my god, I have to jump way further left. Yeah, the 360 seems uh, fast and consistent. At least. Oh my god, I'm missing a checkpoint. Can Marius even play? What? I did no way I didn't get the checkpoint. Bruh. There's no way I did not get the checkpoint. That's illegal. Okay, now I got it. Can I like make the jump now again? I just have to jump way further left than I was doing all of the time. Okay, there you go. That was that was pretty good. Okay, a bit too aggressive. Yeah, not safe in Marius. That's that sounds wrong. That sounds hella wrong. Okay, can I make it again? No. Ah, it's so hard to judge. Maybe also because of my camera, but I remember back when back in the days when I used to play Royal more frequently, I also always sucked at those uh, moving obstacle maps. Oh. It lands a bit on the edge, but... Oh. Okay, that bump was very unsmooth and it lost me a lot of time. But, doesn't matter. Okay, how do they do the 360? Uh, not like this, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's nothing I will figure out now. I just want to discover the maps now. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Marius, every single year he's unlucky with Saru Teacup. Because he never has time. Kinda, kinda sad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay, without any strategy there, uh, the ending is somewhat awkward, as you can see. It's not very great. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, like, I don't, I won't figure out the ending now. I will start practicing the maps once uh, Team GL is over. So, uh, yeah, I think for Discovery, uh, it is enough. I would say a uh, really, really cool and actually pretty nice map till the ending. The ending is, of course, very tricky and it will all be about the ending, most likely. I mean, of course, also this card is tricky and this card is a little tricky, but, like, yeah, like, should be doable, you know? But well, we will see about the ending. But, yeah, uh, without further ado, that was the discovery about uh, Rokul. Rokul? Rokul? Ro Ro this map? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, for the YouTube people, I hope you enjoyed, and in case you didn't enjoy, uh, make sure to subscribe, because <laughs> we have a lot more discoveries uh, coming up. So thanks for watching, and see you in another video.